I'm joined here in the studio, dry studio, by Mika Mosbacher, a member of the Trump 2020 Advisory Board. Mika, thanks very much for coming in. Uh, those polls, let's just start with them, because as, as Jane was saying, the president should be in a very good position. The economy's doing well, the market's doing well, unemployment is down, wages are up. And yet, we've had three polls, the president's internal polls, Fox News polls, a new Quinnipiac poll that's just come out in the last couple of hours, showing the president behind all of the potential Democratic candidates in the key states that matter. As Is there you, a problem? Are you worried? Not at all. And as you can see from that crowd, as we say in Texas, they're fired up. I don't look at polling, I look at money. That's really the mother's milk of politics. And the fact that we've been up and running since right after the inauguration, which is unprecedented. Uh, Trump Victory, which is a campaign fund, has raised $40 million. Uh, the RNC has raised a record $62 million in this last quarter, which allows us to have armies and, and individuals who are field personnel trained in these 17 battleground states. And our polling is showing that while the margins are thin, they were always thin. Remember, Trump prevailed in Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. And those two of those states have not been won since President Bush in 81. And also, President Trump Feels was down in the polls. Remember, he was only up in one of 15 polls during 2015 and had been but written up Mika, as a candidate. He, he lost the popular vote, and he only won in a couple of those states by less than 20,000 votes. You're talking as if this is a done deal, as if you're confident that this is going to be a walk in the park for the no, president. No, it, it's going to be a battle, absolutely, which is why the RNC is training over 4,000 people uh, in the next month alone to, to have boots on the ground in these key states. And, and Florida has always been an issue. President Trump won by 1.2 percent against Hillary Clinton. And we had that recount in 2000 with President Bush. So that's his home state. That's why he is uh, kicking off his campaign today in Florida. But additionally, it is very important to get out the vote. And that's why he needs to keep the base invigorated, like this mega rally today, keep them engaged so that they're not lulled into a false sense mm -hmm. of security. So that's very important, too. Additionally, he has a record to run on, and the Democrats don't. Their only message has been obstruction or investigate or impeach, which I think will be a political disaster. Mika, I was struck by a, a, a line from our very own John Sopel this morning that I was listening to, that in 2016, Donald Trump ran as the insurgent. Now he is the incumbent. Yes. But really, he wants to run as the insurgent. And when you look at his tweets over the last week or so, he's again yeah. trying to cast himself as the underdog, the man versus the liberal swamp. Is that how he's going to run it? Yes, he's an unorthodox candidate. He has been from the get-go. And he has departed from traditions, especially, you know, when he uh, endorsed moving the embassy to Jerusalem, for example. He endorsed the uh, occupation of the Golan Heights by Israel. He has proven that America will stand alone and do what's in its best interest. And he's pushed back against the swampiness in Washington, the bureaucracy, by uh, eliminating job-killing regulations. He's going to continue to be unpredictable and unlike the Democrats who have to corral their progressive left wing of the party I feel that most Republicans uh, are, are going to stand mm. behind this president okay Mika Mosbacher thank you very much for coming in Mika from the 2020 re-election campaign of Donald Trump clearly a lot of very excited mm. people uh, down there